What it is, YouTube. Got a Assassin's Creed The Brotherhood. It's the Halls of Nero, and we gotta locate the Shrine of Romulus. And for full synchronization, um, you gotta complete the memory within 8 minutes. Claim the treasure of the followers of Romulus. And I played through this already, and you can basically... Um, oh, I didn't know that. You could skip cinematics right here. But, uh, basically you have to run through this course pretty quickly. Um, to get this full synchronization. So this is my speed run for you. Uh, right away, get on this thing and go to the left. And once you pop up here, jump towards the left a bit, so you make the full jump, so he doesn't have to climb up. I wonder if you can skip. The, no. So I guess you got to watch these uh, cinematics here. So we got to fill up this fountain to make a, that bottom break. Um, you can shimmy across, but I like to jump on these pillars to save time. And then shimmy across this here. Activate the next fountain. Turn your camera angle if you can so you're ready for the next run. There are two chests um, outside of the uh, treasure ending, I guess. At the very end, there's a bunch of treasure chests, but. Besides that, there's two treasure chests that I know of, and one flag, or two flags actually. Um, play through it one time, get the two flags, because the flags will save and you won't have to get them the second time through. But the treasure chest won't. So, play it once, get the two flags, and then restart the memory. You'll have enough time and uh, finish this. Jump down. Oh my god. There we go. Eagle dive. And from the pool, you want to go to your right. Speed run across. Get on the second pillar. Here. Jump to your left. And then shimmy to your right. Jump across this gap. Climb up and then jump across the swing thing. Speed run. Jump on this pillar. Oops. Missed that jump. Let me get up on top here. There we go. This activates the fire into the next room and basically creates the trap of a fire pit or lava death trap. I don't know. Got a big mess of oil right there. So from here you want to go to the right, climb up the uh, ruins, and jump onto the statue. Get on top of the head. Speed run up that thing and then shimmy across. From here we'll jump up to the next statue. And then instead of going all the way across, which lets you go across, just jump um, to the left here. Like so. Save you some time. 
Oh, jeez. Instead of going up one more, I usually just shimmy across and then jump up. Uh, you don't want to fall here for sure. Don't don't drop off early, because you'll jump in the water and then you have to reclimb the statue and everything. The second statue there. Like don't drop down here. You can drop here though. Barely made it though, so maybe shimmy across a little bit more, so you don't want to fall. It will cost too much time. In this room, there are two chests. It starts the uh, sequence where a guy gets killed right here. Basically, uh, this was right after uh, I destroyed like maybe ten of those guys with a sword fight. And to complete that 100% synchronization, you can't take any damage. And my best uh, advice for that is to hold the right trigger and then just get ready to hit X to assassinate him. Shimmy, shimmy, jump across. It starts the uh, scene, cutscene here. In this room, there are two chests. If you go back the other way, there's a flag. See the chest to your left. And the first time playing through this, I almost missed the uh, second chest. But you want to shimmy to the right past the rope there. Those rope, and then switch. Turn the camera. And hold B if you're playing the 360 to loot the chest. Climb back, go back the way you came from, climb up. And the second chest is right after the swing, the swing bar here. Usually people rush past it like that. There's a chest right there. There's another flag on the top right pillar on in this room for the second flag. Um, I'll direct you a little bit more once we get closer to it, but it's near the top and end of this part. Make sure you turn your body first. Safety hazard right there. If you fall, you can climb up this statue. Make sure you want to go as fast as you can because every second counts. To get the treasure chest at the end, it takes time too. to loot each one anyways. So the treasure, or the flag is right there on the right statue usually, on the right pillar. Not that right one, but you have to keep going. So jump across here. And I'm gonna go left for the speed of for the speed of things, but uh, once you climb up here, you want to take a right to get to the flag, and you'll be able to swing across to the far right. See up there. But I'm gonna go left. So if you need the flag, you go right. If you already got the flag, go left. And then we're here. Loot these as fast as you can. To be able to check your time, you just hit the start button to see how much time you have left. I 
the start button to see how much time. I have 27 seconds. I got all the chests. And now I'm going to interact this one. Uh, I leave my family's armor here, one of the finest sets ever made. May you who finds it receive strength in battle. Change of handwriting. We have taken it and set it back behind the iron door. Six keys unlock it, spread amongst our brothers. It shall be said to come from Romulus, and they will worship it. Soon to see image. Right trigger. So that's the armor that I guess we need to get. Once that's done. Completed it. Make sure no time's going. Oh, time is still going, so let's go up here. Hit the B button, interact it. And achievement, Golden Boy. Let's go to the shrine in the. What's that? Termi de Triano? That's the speed run. I hope you guys enjoy. Um, peace out.